Hey guys, this is Andrew. For today, we're going to be making shakshuka. Shakshuka is a tomato-based dish, just a basic tomato sauce. And then we're going to cook uh, some eggs on top of it to make it a complete meal. And it's really delicious, really simple. And I think it's uh, fairly healthy as well. So yeah, let's get started. For the ingredients of the shakshuka, we have tomatoes, a whole garlic, some cumin powder, salt, pepper, chili flakes, olive oil, paprika, and one canned tomato. I also have here some cilantro, which, which is in ice water right now, so that's nice and fresh looking later. The list of ingredients and the exact measurements will be posted beside me during the video. So we're just gonna dice these onions up and then just mince the garlic, but I'll start with the onions. Always have a trash bowl again. So just dice these up. So this time it actually kind of matters how big the onions are cut because you don't want to dice them too big. We want them to sweat uh, fairly fast in the pan. Make sure that you dice them up really nice. All right, so once they're all diced up, just put them in a bowl and then just uh, reserve it for later. Let's just mince some garlic. I know this is gonna take a long time to do. I have a technique which I've actually figured out after the previous videos is that you have to actually remove the bottom of the bulb of the garlic. I'll just show you in a second what I mean by that. So remove the bottom of the garlic with a knife. Be very careful because it might be a little tough. So just remove it like so. Well, all of the garlic is exposed. Try to do that on the top also, but just be more careful since it's a little unstable. You might cut yourself or something. So it's all exposed now, right? Get a bowl and I'll just get a plate and just cover it and then just shake it. I think this is the easiest way to peel the garlic and it actually works. After a few seconds, magic will happen. So, here you go, see? Perfectly peeled garlic. So just mince, mince this up. I like smashing the garlic first because if you mince it just whole like this, the surface area isn't big enough for you to actually chop quick because it's all, uh, not, it's not flat, flat in the board. So what I do is actually just use the knife, be careful of course, and just make it flat see now it's easier to chop so just mince this up real good again this doesn't have to be super fine because i'm sure this will just all dissolve later let's place it in a bowl oh you guys you know you know what i forgot red and green red bell pepper what green and red bell pepper this will actually add a nice uh flavor uh what flavor you might ask uh bell pepper flavor don't forget this not like me be better all right so we just want to chop this up we're gonna go straight to cooking the sauce right after this. So this is the last vegetable we have to actually cut. Remove the seeds. Also remove the membrane because this is this part is actually kind of bitter. Uh, we just want to dice them up actually. So if your knife is sharp enough, you can actually cut the bell pepper skin side up. But if it's not, you can just do skin side down. But it doesn't matter. My knife is not sharp. So you have to cut it skin side down. Be careful with your fingers always. So the flavor of bell pepper, especially when it's sauteed, is just amazing. I don't know about you, but I really like the flavor of bell peppers. So I just wanna dice this up and be ready to actually cook the sauce. All right, so in a saucepan right here, a fairly medium saucepan, just heat up some olive oil, or I, I actually prefer using olive oil here just because I think it makes the most sense using this kind of oil. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Just put a bit of olive oil here, one and a half tablespoons, because you want a lot of oil to make sure that the vegetables sweat properly. I'm gonna start with sauteing the onions and garlic, followed by the green and red bell peppers, okay? So we just wanna heat this up a little bit. Again, using a rubber spatula. You should really have one of these at home. It really uh, helps scrape those, uh, everything, anything in the pan. This is a heat proof rubber spatula. You can buy this uh, in the mall or whatever, because uh, it's a really helpful tool, useful tool in the kitchen. Okay, make sure to get one. The oil is kind of hot already. See that? Hear that sizzle? Means it's good. Saute that onion. So we just want this to turn translucent. Right after that, let's just add the garlic. So sweating down the onion actually makes, it actually makes the onion sweet and it removes the harsh raw punch that uh, raw onion gives. So the onions are uh, starting to turn translucent. Now we can add the garlic. And again, we just want this to be soft. Should season while we go. That's the most important thing. Just put some salt here. Put a little 
black pepper. This is really important so that your food is never bland. And put a pinch of chili flake. Uh, nobody really eats some uh, spicy food here. Me barely, but I like I like to eat spicy food. But my mom doesn't really eat anything too spicy. I'm just put a little bit, just a little, a little kick. And I'm gonna add all the red bell peppers and then probably three fourths of the green. Leave that for later. And if you feel like your pan is getting a little dry, just add a little bit more oil. This is a lot of vegetables, so probably we're gonna need much more oil. I like to add the spices right now while I'm sauteing the vegetables because it just the oil and the heat will just bring out the, the flavor of the spices much more. This is cumin, just gonna put a little bit. I don't wanna overpower it, that's about probably a fourth teaspoon. Some paprika, okay. Ooh. I can, already, I can already smell it. You can go a little nuts in this because paprika doesn't really have too much flavor. This variety of paprika for me, it does not, it's not too powerful. And it'll give a nice color to the dish as well. That's about uh, probably one and a half teaspoons of it. And just uh, saute this really nice. I'm gonna add more salt here at this point. Again, season as you go. I added the bell peppers. Clean up a little bit here. That's my dirty station. Keep everything dirty on one side. That's what it looks like. Nice and sweated already. Everything has a nice color, yeah. So this is probably the best time to put the whole peeled tomatoes, canned tomatoes. We got here some canned peeled whole tomatoes. So yeah, I'm gonna put some water inside just to clean up the rest of the tomato sauce. This is probably half a cup of water. You just wanna clean the can so every bit of tomato sauce is gonna be inside of that sauce. We just wanna crush them up a little bit, uh, but not too much to the point that you can't really see that there's actual tomato in it. I would season this right at the end just because uh, right now it's gonna taste really acidic just because of the tomatoes, but later once it actually cooks for a longer period of time, everything's just gonna mellow. And if you season it too quickly, or you might end up with a salty tomato sauce. But you actually want it a little thick, just a little bit before we add the eggs. But we actually still want a little bit of water from the tomatoes because the eggs aren't going to cook properly or evenly once we actually put them inside the sauce. So this will cook about 10 to 20 minutes depending. Well, just depends on how it looks. So just, just trust in your instincts, especially with seasoning things and stuff. So this is what it looks like now simmering. We just want to reduce this probably to half. After that, we can taste it. And then once the sauce is nice and seasoned, we can actually add the eggs already so that it's just a finishing touch. Okay. All right, so the sauce has reduced quite a bit. You can actually taste it for seasoning. It needs a lot of seasoning. I'm just gonna put a teaspoon of salt, put it there. Actually, a teaspoon and a half. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some sugar. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon, so, so everything is nice and balanced. Just mix this up. Mm. Okay, got it. All right, so the shakshuka is the, sh yeah. the shakshuka is nice and seasoned already. We can actually add the eggs now. I'm just gonna add two large eggs here. Again, we want a little bit of water. Not really water, but like moisture here. We don't want it to be completely dry, or else the eggs won't cook properly. So I'm just gonna drop in. Actually, gonna make a hole. Try to make a hole or like a space for where the eggs can drop. Crack the egg. Drop it in the middle like that. Nice. Make a little well. If you will and then just drop the egg and i'm gonna season that with salt just on the yolks some black pepper oh god black pepper and right now you want to increase the heat a little bit okay and just move the sides not the actual egg just so that you know that there's uh, actual heat coming through that sauce to the eggs and i have here a lid just to put on top. We don't want the eggs to overcook, so especially this kind of lid, you can see what's actually happening in there. It'll be much easier, sorry, just gonna clean this up. It'll be much easier to see how done the eggs are. When you're gonna cook shakshoka, make sure you have a nice uh, pan. I wouldn't really recommend uh, switching pans right after this is cooked because you just might break the egg and just lose that like, classic looking shakshoka look. So it's almost there. Actually, I'm gonna leave it for like one more minute also get a heat proof mat or whatever so that when you serve it later it's just 
shakshapa. So at this point, the eggs are already nice, like poached, nice and poached. This is already done for me. You're gonna, when you're gonna actually serve this, make sure the sides are clean, because this is exactly where, where you want to serve it. I'm gonna add the bell peppers while it's still kind of hot. Okay. Now we can add the cilantro. So yeah, putting even like sprigs of cilantro here. Again, if you don't like it, you don't have to put it. You can just substitute this with parsley. And then yeah, enjoy this B-roll of this shakshuka. So let's give this a try. Hopefully it tastes really good and it looks really good. B-roll, we're back. So yeah, I have here some rice, but this is perfect with the uh, bread. You could put this in whatever kind of starch you want. I just chose rice, because rice is life. Mm. So rich for uh, like a vegetable dish with some egg. Well, the egg makes it really, really, really decadent, but it just works so well, and that cilantro just hits all the right notes for this dish. Nice and balanced, it has a little bit of spice, but not too much where you can't actually taste the food anymore. It really balances everything out. And you can taste a little bit of the cumin, not much of the paprika, of course, but really nicely spiced tomato sauce. That I'm sure you're gonna like this. So hopefully you guys try this at home. Uh, you can actually do variations with this. I can't really think of anything right now. So thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, peace.